What's up, Calc Gang? Today we're gonna to be solving this triple, triple integral in, with the bounds being a cone and in between two spheres. So we're gonna be using spherical coordinates for this, which means we're gonna need our terms in a row and phi. So how do we get this? Well, let's write out what we know. So z is equal to square root of x plus y. That's just a cone. z squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. And then we have i is between which is the squared is equal to one. So that's just the is equal to one. And this is the is squared is equal to four. Wow, that's beautiful, isn't it? So that's three is equal to two. So this is our in-between, basically. We're gonna be going between this and that for our circle, but we also need to be within the bounds of our cone. So how do we know what our bounds of a cone are? Well, let's graph it. So what I like to do for this is I like to set one of these terms equal to zero, so you just get a flat surface as if you were looking at it like straight on from the flat side. So let's try setting y is equal to zero. This marker is dying. Therefore, we have z squared is equal to x squared, or z is equal to positive minus x. Now what this is gonna look like, in, because y is equal to zero, we're gonna be in the x z plane, it's going to look like this. But we know that we're going to be in the positive axis because this is what, actually we don't know that yet. Let's see. So it lies, okay, so it lies above the cone. So this is how we know that we're in the, the positive axis. So we're going to be up here somewhere and we're going to be in between rho is equal to one and rho is equal to two. So what is rho? Well, rho is kind of like radius, but in the third dimension. So you can kind of think of it when your flat rho is just going to be equal to radius. So it's going to be this is it's equal to 1, and this is rho is equal to 2. And we're going to be integrating this area. So with this line here, so okay, let's write down this. So 1 is greater than or equal to rho than equal to 2. So now we need to know what our phi, phi is going to. So phi, we look at this and we say, well, we can look at this and we know that in the normal, just a normal cone, this is gonna be equal to pi over four because that's the distance from this to this is just pi over four. So it goes from zero at top, pi over four. And theta, imagine this, this is a full rotational circle. It's not just on one part. So it's gonna go a full circle, which is a full two pi. Alright, so now that we have our bounds, we can set up our triple integral. So, where should I set it up? I space it right here. It's going to be clear. I'm going to set it up right here. So on the outside is our theta, so 0 to 2 pi. Our second one is our rho, 0 to pi over 4. And our inside is the... Never mind. This is phi, this is rho. It goes from one to two. All right, so our inside, we have this. Now, x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to rho squared. So what we can do is the square root of rho squared is just gonna be rho. And then, of course, when you're doing spherical coordinates, you're always gonna have your rho squared sine of phi. And then our coordinates go d rho, d phi, d theta. And here is our setup. So I'm gonna solve this really quick for you guys and I'm gonna show you how it's done. becomes 15 pi over 4, 2 minus square root of 2, which is our final answer. 
Nice job, everybody. Good luck in your calc homework and uh, calc gang up.